of Tennessee history, the Tennessee State Library and Archives is adding some square footage to store it all. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson is at the new building ahead of a virtual ribbon cutting today, and it's basically in our backyard here at News Channel 5, Cole. So we've been able to drive by it and watch it go up. This thing is huge. Yeah, picture this. There's 26 miles worth of content in this building. That is just how extensive this is. And I've actually been lucky enough to be joined this morning with Chuck Sherrill. He's a state librarian archivist here. Chuck, thank you so much for getting up early with us. We appreciate it. Just talk to me a little bit about this project. What can people expect if they come out here? Well, the State Library and Archives holds the history of Tennessee and its documents and photographs and maps and manuscript collections. And so we have brought all of those things together into this wonderful new facility to make them available to the public. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me there's some pretty cool stuff in the lobby right when you get inside. Can you tell me about that? Yes, one of my favorite things is the um, interactive exhibits in the lobby. We've used technology throughout this building in new and different ways for us. And one of those is to have exhibits in the lobby that people can walk up to and uh, touch the screen, interact with, and uh, choose a county or a person or an event in Tennessee history and uh, see some of the items we have pertaining to that topic. Uh, there are a couple of games, a genealogy quiz that you can do on one of the screens and a cons conservation uh, document conservation exercise. So just lots of different ways for people to understand what's in this building and what we do in terms of preserving Tennessee history. And you can also walk right in and see the state constitutions, right? That's right. The uh, <laughs> kind of focal point of the lobby is a display that shows the state's three constitutions beginning with the 1796 uh, one, which was when we became a state. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. So there's actually going to be a virtual ribbon cutting later today, and then people can tune on that at the Secretary of State's uh, Facebook page and YouTube page, and also an open house tomorrow. But we're going to send it back over to you guys in the studio.